What's up and welcome to the channel where you subscribe to get daily updates on Bitcoin. We're also going to take a look at our charts on Litecoin and Ethereum. So stick around to the end of the video. We are getting some volatility. This is great trading times, guys. Um, stick around. Don't forget we have a free Discord group in the description below the video. Definitely check it out. It's an awesome community. You will love it. And let's get on to it. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. We are going to be taking a look at the charts. First, we'll take a look at the news just to get a, a look for the sentiment, just to get a feel for it. And uh, then we'll move on to the charts. Don't forget, we're doing a giveaway. Sunday, we'll be giving away a free Ledger Nano. All you have to do to win is enter a comment down below. Make sure you smash that like button. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That will get you entered to win. I can't stress enough how much it helps when you guys smash that like button. So take a second out before you forget. Smash the like. Let's get into it. All right. Bitcoin is braced for a massive week. Seems to be correct. Um, I'm trying to look at the newer ones. The harsh truth about Bitcoin mining and climate change. Um, Binance unveils unveils new product for yield farming crypto assets good luck with that guys um, bitcoin crashes with tech stocks a few key factors that could predict a bitcoin price surge to end 2020 um obviously they're still trying to hold up with a little bit of bullish news you guys know how i feel about that let's take a look at the fear and greed index we're at 41 same as yesterday still in the fear zone and our monthly chart that we've talked about forever lower highs in the macro that is not bullish guys um also we have lower highs in the rsi higher highs in the price action that is bearish divergence uh, in the monthly so it takes a while to play out let's take a look at uh what's going on here so we've been watching this um, if you look at this triangle in the solid white lines, the measured bullish move is 27,000, which I've been telling you guys, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but we could still get a bounce down here around the uh, 9,200 that we've been talking about for the last few days. Let's. Uh, there's also a target of 16,000 with the falling broadening wedge in yellow. That's a measured move. But what we've been really watching is this RSI on the weekly. We could get a pump all the way up to retest this line if we close the weekly above it that would be bullish for me but i am waiting for a retest of this bottom line that is where i get more bullish um also if you guys are interested in trading there's a lot of money to be made in crypto right now just be careful if you're inexperienced don't use a lot of money and don't use high leverage but prime xbt i will leave a tutorial up top um this is a, we're still in the holiday over here so i'm going to make this video real quick but um, I, you can trade crypto, Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Dow, whatever you want on this exchange by just using your Bitcoin. I am currently still in my short trade. I'm up 5,800 as of this video. Um, but yeah, I, I share this stuff in my Discord a little less this weekend. Obviously, it's a vacation weekend. So, um, But anyways, if you use my promo code SAVVY50, you can get 50% on top of whatever you deposit every time you make a deposit up to one Bitcoin. Savvy25 will get you 25% off your fees. Definitely check it out, guys. It's by far my favorite exchange. Um, they don't trade against you. They don't get a bunch of crazy, goofy wicks that don't show up on other charts so or other exchanges. But anyways, check it out. It's a great um, exchange, in my opinion. So, looking at the daily. We had been looking at this. We're getting into a pretty damn critical area, guys. Um Look at this rising broadening wedge. We had a measured move of that all the way down to 3,900, which there is a gap down here. Um, as of right now, we are about to test this pink trend line here around the 97.28. Actually, we can move it up a little bit around 97.40. Um, we've been talking about this for a while. We may get a little bounce here, but I think that's eventually going to break. We have another trend line down here to hit around 79.70. Uh, depending on where we hit it, it could be down further, um, depending on where we hit the line. But um, that would be another area. We're going to take a look at some more targets in a smaller time frame, so stick around. But let's look at the RSI. We were watching this rising wedge, which we fell out of. Boom, we expected that. Um, 
Another way to look at the daily, we're looking at this as a rising broadening wedge. If this breaks, guys, as a rising broadening wedge, the measure moves around the 6450 to 6500. But let's take another look at this real quick. Looking at this from the swing low to the swing high, put the Fib Fibonacci retracements on there. Our first line of support was 10,600 or 10,464, which we broke. That is now resistance. Uh, the next line of support here is going to be around the 9180 to 92. That is a price area I'm watching really closely is 92. I would expect at least a good bounce there. We'll see what's going on. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I will keep you updated on what I'm seeing. But if that does break, we're looking towards the 8150. Then the golden pocket zone is between 6850 and 7120. Um, Obviously, if that doesn't hold, then we get our measured move target from this rising broadening wedge, about 64.50. If that breaks, 56.81. And then remember, we do have a CME gap on the 8-hour at 35.70 area. I'm not saying it has to fill, but guys, I've been talking about this for a while. Make sure you are aware it is there. Another way to help support channel, my wife's webpage, inkyourimage.com. Kick ass crypto stuff on there. Check it out. Um, there is a link below in the description. You can put anything you want on any of that stuff. It doesn't have to be just what you see. Um, it is quality stuff too, not junk. So looking at the four hour, we we're looking at this as a rising wedge. And the measure move of that is around 5,900 from where we broke out over here. That is another way to look at this and interpret it. <clears throat> and again, you can see the Fibonacci retracements here. But let's look at the RSI on the four hour. And as you can see, it does look like the RSI has reset. Could get another push down. Um, down to this white trend line here before continuing up. And I do believe we might get a push up for a fake out up to get more bullish people in to obviously continue the massacre, in my opinion. Um, let's look at this real quick. This is the one hour chart. We had a measured move of this rising channel here all the way down to 96 89 97 obviously you guys know there's a gap there we had put these targets in yesterday and that was just a measured move from this little wedge 97 56 being the first one and then looking at it as a bear flag 94 95 area um, we are dropping as we speak here it looks like we're heading down to that 97 50 possibly the 97 and then maybe even the 95 down here um, but yeah everything's looking pretty damn bearish most likely by the RSI being down here, we'll get a bounce up in this area, a relief bounce. So be prepared for that. Um, and another way to look at it, these targets here are looking at this as the worst case from this measured move down to the 7,400, looking at this triangle. And if we take a measured move of just a triangle there, that gets us down to the 8700 range so keep an eye on that area guys the rsi looks like we could be getting a bounce otherwise that's going to wick down to these and you know could be a good spot to long if you wanted to do that but uh be careful guys and another thing i wanted to show in the macro i showed it yesterday i believe we're here i see a lot of other people talking about it now but as you can see um, once we dipped below the 200 ema here we came back up retested it got resistance and look what happened looks like almost the exact same area and we talked about the rsi resetting over here we could get one more reset of this rsi before crashing down but guys i do think this is extremely bearish in my opinion in the medium term now taking a look at litecoin um still have the target of 38.82 and that's from the break of this rising channel here it's actually a little bit lower i believe let me double check this i don't know why i'm so far off um let me put it in here but yeah it's actually about 30 about 38 dollars somewhere in that range 38 20 whatever right in that range that is the target for there that i'm still looking for i expect at least a bounce there we will reevaluate make sure you're subscribed make sure you let's take a look at ethereum too make sure you tick the notification bell and you hit the all that will get you notified every time i post a video guys otherwise youtube does not notify you um so anyways we did hit our target on Ethereum. I do believe we'll go much lower, but I think we'll come up to retest this for resistance first, possibly up around the 370 range. But my ultimate um, target here is around 240, and then again, we'll reevaluate from there. If 
we look at the RSI, it does look like it could push up here. Um, yeah, looking at this as a small inverse head and shoulders may get another push up. We may get that push up to this area. But if we look at the EMAs right here, guys, the 55 is crossing the 200 on the four hour. That is not good. Um, like I said, a lot of times you'll get a push up here. It'll bounce for a little bit. We may come up, retest this area before continuing down. But in the long run here, guys, everything is still pretty damn bearish, pretty damn ugly. Be careful out there. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to click the Crypto Savvy logo above my head to get you subscribed. Take a second out. Smash the like button. Leave a comment down below to get you entered to win Sunday's giveaway of the Ledger Nano. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm out of here. Have a beautiful day.